Bon matin tout le monde. Good morning, colleagues, and welcome to our 2020 National Winter Caucus. Bienvenue à notre première retraite du caucus national. Welcome to our a first uh, caucus retreat since this election. It's great to be back together to continue our work on behalf of Canadians, on behalf of those who have put their trust in us uh, on the 21st of October. I ask you all if you had a good break, but anyone who follows social media knows how active you all have been these past few weeks, connecting with constituents individually and in groups large and small. And I know you're all eager to get down to the business of Parliament, eager to channel the input we've received in our writings into the deliberations of the House and its committees. Hier, nous avons eu une journée très chargée avec les réunions des caucus régionaux, du caucus rural et du caucus des femmes. Today, we will pull the substance of those caucus discussions in the service of Canadians who want us to continue to work hard to make this country even stronger and even better. Because yes, better is always possible. In fact, better is not only always possible, it's necessary in today's competitive world. Le monde n'est plus comme il était lorsque nous sommes arrivés au gouvernement en 2015. The world is smaller, more interdependent, and more uncertain than we found it in 2015. International events and issues like climate change and trade are more central to our deliberations as parliamentarians in caucus and in the House than ever before. It's good to be back together to discuss Canadians' priorities and their hopes for the future, as well as the challenges we must address to keep our country moving forward. Nous avions une plateforme électorale ambitieuse. Nous en sommes très fiers. In the election campaign, we presented an ambitious agenda to Canadians, and they voted their confidence in that agenda. They voted for an ambitious agenda, and they voted for leadership. Colleagues, members of the Parliamentary Press Gallery, the Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau. Merci. Merci, Nézini. Bonjour à tous. C'est un plaisir de vous retrouver. Je sais que ça a été, comme Francis a dit, des, euh, des semaines chargées, euh, Noël et euh, la suite des choses. Et je veux vraiment vous remercier, tous et chacun, euh, pour votre leadership dans vos communautés euh, depuis plusieurs semaines. Euh, on a eu une tragédie nationale et les Canadiens euh, se sont rassemblés pour appuyer euh, nos amis de la communauté iranienne euh, et vous tous. Euh, particulièrement dans certaines régions du pays, mais à travers le pays, on a senti ce leadership communautaire, cette compassion, cette présence sur le terrain. Thank you, all of you, for stepping up so strongly to support your fellow Canadians, to support, to lead uh, opportunities to gather together and support our fellow citizens uh, in this, in the wake of uh, the terrible disaster on 752. Uh, it was a moment where Canadians uh, needed our country to come together, needed communities uh, to pull together and support folks suffering uh, immeasurable loss. That's exactly what we did and what we're going to continue to do. We will continue to be there for uh, families and communities uh, who are suffering and trying to rebuild their lives at a time of uh, bleakness. Uh, but we will also keep working on the international stage to get answers, to get justice, to work with uh, our, uh, our uh, allies, friends and partners around the world to ensure uh, that we are getting the answers for Canadians that they need to get uh, to be able to begin, get closure uh, and to move forward as a country on this national tragedy. And that's exactly what we're doing. So thank you for all your leadership. J'espère que tout le monde uh, a bien profité uh, des temps de vacances que vous avez eu parce que je vous cacherai pas qu'on a énormément de travail à faire cette année. We accomplished a great deal in our first mandate, but we know, as always, there's more work in front of us than there is behind us. Today's meeting is a chance for us to talk as a team about our goals and priorities for 2020. When the House returns next week, uh, the very first priority, as you know, will be moving forward on the ratification of the new NAFTA. It is our top priority, 
and it has been one that we have been extremely focused on over the past number of years as we secure our trading relationship with our most important partner. Millions of Canadian jobs depend on uh, free trade with the United States, on reliable supply chains, on partnership that transcends borders, on an understanding that uh, the predictability we have for our businesses, for investors, and mostly for workers and families across the country is essential, particularly in a time where the world has gotten less predictable and more challenging in so many ways. We need to move forward uh, with this strong deal for Canada. I look forward to debate on this in the House. I look forward to committees doing their work. But we need to make sure that we move resolutely and rapidly uh, to put into reality uh, this uh, new NAFTA deal that is so good for Canadians from coast to coast to coast. So I want to thank members of Parliament uh, across party lines. And I want to thank Canadians from one end of the country to the other who stepped up over these past years to demonstrate a united front towards the United States. C'était vraiment important pour ces négociations qu'on ait des voix différentes, de différents partis, de différentes approches politiques, de se rassembler pour présenter une vision concertée de ce qui était bon pour le Canada. Ça a été réellement un effort d'équipe, de Team Canada. On a réussi à tenir tête uh, et d'avoir un bon deal pour les Canadiens. Et maintenant, c'est la dernière poussée, poussée ensemble qu'on va faire à la Chambre des communes pour s'assurer qu'on sécurise le commerce avec les États-Unis pour encore des générations. Vous allez être à l'avant-plan de ça et je vous en remercie, mes amis. We will once again cut taxes for the middle class. This was the first thing we did in 2015 when we got elected, lowering taxes for the middle class and raising them on the wealthiest 1%. And we're moving forward, as we promised, on a tax cut for the middle class uh, by lifting uh, people off the tax rolls by raising the basic minimum exemption and ensuring at the same time that it's not a tax cut that benefits the wealthiest. This is something Canadians expect us to do. We will move forward on that. We're also going to be moving forward on a number of other priorities Canadians shared with us over the past months and years. Strengthening gun control and banning military-style assault weapons. Strengthening... <laughs> Strengthening Medicare, including more care providers, access to mental health, and national universal pharmacare. We will, of course, uh, be fighting climate change by exceeding our current 2030 targets and developing a plan to achieve a net zero emissions economy by 2050. <laughs> At the same time, we will continue to work to get our resources to markets other than the United States and supporting hardworking families in our natural resource sectors who we know have been through tough years uh, over the past while. We're going to continue to advance meaningful reconciliation with Indigenous people and we will keep every day investing in our communities to keep fighting poverty and make life more affordable for the middle class. But all is not the same as it was in our previous mandate. In the last election, Canadians told us very clearly that they thought we could do even better. We need to take that responsibility seriously. It's up to us to work more with other parties, to work more across the country as we take Parliament seriously. We need to make it work. Au cours des prochains mois, nous allons être appelés à travailler avec nos collègues Des deux côtés de la chambre, des deux côtés, la deux chambres, des deux chambres, de, avec les différents partis au Sénat aussi. Dans ce contexte minoritaire, je pense qu'on a tous intérêt à se rappeler de ce qui nous unit. On est issu de différents partis et oui, on est loin d'être d'accord sur tout, mais les attentes de nos électeurs sont les mêmes. Les Canadiens veulent voir leurs députés travailler ensemble pour améliorer leur quotidien. Bickering. Grandstanding, petty politics, 
None of these things create jobs. They don't make anyone's retirement safer or our environment cleaner. Collaboration, dialogue, and constructive debate, however, can. So as we head into the new parliamentary session, the message of our Liberal caucus is simple. Let's show Canadians that we heard them. Let's roll up our sleeves and work with our colleagues to make our country even stronger. Common ground does exist in this Parliament, but it's up to us to build on it. Beaucoup de travail nous attend, mais je le sais très bien que nous sommes à la hauteur du défi. Sur ce, je vais m'arrêter ici pour qu'on se mette au travail. Merci beaucoup, mes amis. Hello again, I'm Martin Stringer, and you have been listening to Prime Minister Trudeau speaking briefly to his caucus as they allowed the cameras in as the caucus began two meet days of meetings in preparation for Monday's return of Parliament. Now, just to note, several ministers were scrummed going into that caucus meeting. Journalists wanted to have some answers, and one of the ministers was Health Minister Patty Haidu, who was questioned by journalists about the evolving situation with the coronavirus and the outbreak centered in China. Here's what she had to say. Can you bring us up to date on what's happening in Canada then? In terms of are there any cases? What about the five in Quebec? Or right. Could you bring us up to date? So, uh, first uh, message is to Canadians is the risk still remains very low for Canadians in terms of 